What is up everybody, this is Adewitch, we're bringing you some more Kamen Rider Baltario Rider Road as we continue down the bumpy road of the Kamen Rider. Of course, he be key. <clears throat> so, first off, Superhero Tizen got released, to, uh, Superhero Tizen Z got released on TVD Han, and well, I thought it was better than the first. The only problem was, uh, overshadowing Kill Uger like they did Go Busters in the first one. There wasn't that much of them. Though the Gold Busters got their chance to shine a bit in the movie with the uh, Yellow Buster and both of them as well. So apparently magical rip holes have been appearing around the world. They're trying to find out what's the cause of it. The space, the space sheriffs think it's wizard and beast. They try to go eliminate them and all that because since they're the only common riders that can use magic. Now... They find out the real culprit, which actually is Madol, the space crime syndicate Madol from uh, Space Sheriff. Well, apparently they revived Shocker, which created Space Shocker, all that fun stuff. We even got to see the duel between Haruto and Daigo, which was pretty epic until Guy had to go it. He cut a guy from Gokaiju, so had to come along and interrupt it. I wanted to see more of it. So I thought the battle was that pick. I really did. Um, other than that, the movie was good. I liked it. A heck of a lot. There was a lot of. There was a big plot twist to it too, which is something I did not see coming. I thought it was. I thought the Psychron was a power, a power source of this uh, psych, psychic demon king thing, but apparently it was a part of it. Apparently it was part of the brain of it that escaped from him because it couldn't take any more of his bullcrap heart. <clears throat> but either way, the movie was good. I liked it a lot. It, it's really good. Downloaded it on my phone. You know how intelligent I am. I had to reroute the damn. I had to reroute my. I had to reroute the movie that I downloaded onto my SD card. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm that smart because I just reformatted it and also it managed to fit on my SD card so now I'm all good. <clears throat> but yeah, so there's also this YouTube video going around about my behind the scenes of Gosei Sentai Die Ranger. That's right, you're gonna go behind the scenes with the um, stunt coordinator and Mighty Morphin Power Ranger director, I think. Something like that to that effect. Um, Hang on, there's a mosquito in my room. Die! Die! Damn it. <clears throat> Thank you. Messing with me. I didn't kill it. Oh well. If you heard a clap, yeah, I try to kill it. Alright. <clears throat> so the link to the video will be in the description below. It's at least an hour to near two hours. So yeah, you're going to be watching in, in nostalgia over this video you're gonna have a lot of nostalgia be like wow this is amazing this is so cool this is how sentai and power rangers are being made wow i'm gonna appreciate it more you know that's the thing about toku fans they gotta shut the hell up and just appreciate what how much hard work they put in production wise and all you know it's not an easy thing to make i mean you have to go through all this production the cut scenes the the scripts and all that fun stuff you know it's not an easy thing to create though a lot of people complain and they think they can make a better sentai show but in actuality you need to actually know what you're doing and you gotta make sure it makes sense story-wise or it's not gonna make any sense whatsoever nobody would watch it everybody would be turning it off i don't care if you're gonna be using your fanboyism nobody will truly watch it they'll never understand it truly <clears throat> but other than that, it's a good thing. I mean, I'm I'm still watching it honestly, and it's just amazing. And I could just want to hear the suit actor start talking, you, he, saying the lines that um the voice actors are supposed to say. <clears throat> so I think it's a little, I think it's a little interesting. I learned something new about that. I don't know if I could hear them. I think they have the recording of the voice acting or something. I don't. 
know, but I think I can hear them talking. But the weird thing about it is that a monster that's supposed to be a female is actually a male dude, which is kind of awkward <clears throat> to that effect. What else can I say? Um, with that in mind, uh, there is another thing. So, yesterday, so yesterday, which was Sunday in Japan, released two new things. First off, the Henshin of Zangetsu, which was pretty epic when I saw the video clip, and Kiwi Arms. Yes. Yuji's new armor, Kiwi Arms makes his debut. Also, I saw a photo of um, Bravo, Comrade Bravo, apparently going to team up with the other riders to fight off the Imbus that are coming through these dimensional rips because of the Helium Forest activating. I mean, the series is getting more interesting. I think they need to slow it down a bit, honestly. In a way, I think they should slow it down a bit, but. I Mm, there is another part of the story that's going to come to life. The true reason behind the Hellion Forest. Why is there these rip holes, all that fun stuff. So, maybe we'll find out the reason behind all of that. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe, maybe, uh, the leader of the Gaim team. What was his name? Uh, Suya, Shuya, Shuya, I think? Shinya, Shinya. Damn it, I don't know. Put him below what the hell his name is. Um, Maybe he is going to be the part of the story. Maybe he is going to be Adam. Yeah, I'm hearing rumors that they're going to bring in some Bible references like Adam and Eve. So meaning that the mysterious girl, her name is Eve. And I'm, I'm, stick, I'm sitting there reading this and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Are we seriously going to go with that one? <clears throat> I mean, looking at... Looking at the episode that came out on TV Nihon, I really started to look at it very closely and seeing that the forbidden fruit is those lock seed fruits that don't turn to locks unless you have the single driver. So, and when they eat it, I don't know what happens to them after they eat it. After all, they did call it a forbidden fruit in the song, so I think it's a little interesting on that part. Maybe. <clears throat> they're making a reference to the fruit from the knowledge of good and evil that God told Adam and Eve not to eat whatsoever but they were tempted by the devil to eat yes and in case you guys forgot I am indeed a Christian so I still remember those stories I still remember all of that and ironically um, the new driver that's going to come out for Kamen Rider Gaim is named the Genesis Driver, which is where the story of Adam and Eve come come from. Genesis. <clears throat> so, I think it's a little ironic. They're bringing in Bible references also. But they best be careful. The last thing they need is Miraka Blaine. I'm kidding. I love Gaim, by the way. It's, it's a really interesting show to bring in the fruit concept and all. And I saw a funny-ass meme that says, Fruit. Fruit ninjas do exist. Your argument is invalid. <laughs> That's a funny meme. Though somebody commented below saying, Error. Fruit samur fruit warrior samurais exist. Your argument is invalid. They called him a fruit ninja. That was pretty messed up. <clears throat> so. Yeah, if you guys never checked out Superhero Tyson Z, I highly recommend you guys do. Because there's a little... There's a little um, hint in the ending of the video when after the credits roll and all that that there's going to be another superhero Tyson. Yes, to all those who hate superhero Tyson, there's going to be another one. Oh, and that's when you thought it was all said and done. Nope, it ain't. There is a few more to go and I could tell they're going to bring in more heroes. Next one is a hint. I believe they're bringing in how about his favorite toku show, Kikaira, into the movie? So I will be having to tell my friends to go watch that. So yeah. <laughs> so check that out. Check out the video below. All that fun stuff. So rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless and aloha. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. No seriously. Bye. <laughs>